Hi, I'm Josephine, and I'm a professional fitter with The Point Shop, and we are so lucky because I just fitted Emily for her very first pair of point shoes, and I'm gonna show her some of the exercises that she can be doing at home. Because what you wanna do when you first get your pair of point shoes is to put them on right away and start dancing in your kitchen floor, right? But we don't want to do that because one, you're gonna ruin your beautiful $100 point shoes, and two, it's very, very dangerous to do that because point work is quite dangerous, so you want to have someone monitoring you, like a ballet teacher, to make sure that you're doing it correctly. So we're gonna be talking about the exercises that you can do at home, and most of them are TheraBand exercises, and we're gonna be going through some of the most basic exercises you can do every single day so that you can keep your ankles, your, your toes, and everything else nice and neat and nice and strong. So we're gonna start with your toes. So Emily, can you put your TheraBand vertically underneath your foot? So we're gonna start at the very bottom of your feet. And this is a really important exercise for your toes because a lot of times, a lot of dancers tend to curl their toes when they're on point. So this is teaching the dancer how to keep her toes straight and also to make those muscles a little bit stronger so that you can use those toe muscles when you go all the way up on point. So the first thing you should do is to lift your toes and then you feel that resistance and then very slowly flatten it down to the floor. Very good. And this way, if you're holding your TheraBand this way, you're keeping your toes very straight rather than curling them. So it's teaching you muscle memory to keep your toes straight when you're on point as well. So lift up one more time and then straighten it down. It's also very important to do this exercise separately from the rest of your foot because your toe muscles are different than the rest of your feet. So you want to separate those two as well. Okay, lift it one more time and then flatten it down. And my recommendation is to do this about 12 times on each foot and do it three times each. Okay, so the next exercise, you can have a seat for me, Emily. So we're gonna straighten. So the thing, one thing that I notice about you, Emily, can you point your toes for me? Is that you naturally, your, sh your foot breaks a little bit low because you point more with your foot than with your ankles. So what we want to do is we want to really strengthen your feet so that we can keep your toes nice and straight and then really strengthen your ankles so that you can really go up on point while you're stable. So this exercise is really for the bottom of your foot. We're gonna be working on strengthening all of this muscle right here. So go ahead and put your TheraBand on horizontally, just around your toes. Yeah, very good. And then stretch that back, very good. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna to try to keep your feet as straight as possible. And then we're going to demi point, keeping your toes nice and straight. And remember your, how your toes felt when you're doing the previous exercise. We're gonna do just that while you're straightening your toes. Point for me. It's hard, isn't it? Yeah, so we're gonna point, point, point. Good girl, very nice. You do have a tendency to slightly sickle. It's very good. So we're gonna keep your toes nice and straight. You, When you look down at your toes, you want to have a nice straight line. So demi point, and then we're gonna go back onto point, keeping it or back to flex. Okay, and then demi point, keeping your toes nice and straight to point. Good, I can see that you take directions very well because you were curling your toes before, but now it's straight, so that's very good. And then demi, and then flex one more time. And it's really important to keep your toes nice and straight, your ankles nice and straight, so that your knees, and then your ankles, and then your toes are one straight line. Okay, one more time. And then point, very good. Good job, I saw that correction. Demi, and then flex. Very nice. So we're gonna do the same thing 12 times each on both sides, and then we're going to do that three times all, uh, all together, okay? All right, so the next exercise we're gonna be doing, we're gonna strengthen your ankles. So this was really focusing on your foot. We're gonna go up to your ankles now. So we're gonna keep um, the same position, but you're gonna point your toes all the way. And what we're going to do is first sickle, and then you're gonna roll your ankles slowly all the way up, resisting that TheraBand all the way out, and then point. And then when you're doing this exercise, you wanna keep your legs nice and parallel. We want to use your ankle strength much more than the rest of your, uh, rest of your leg. 
So we want to keep that stable. So point one more time and then sickle a tiny bit all the way up to flex position. Very good. And then point. We're going to be working on the bottom of your foot. So we're going to just do the most simple exercise possible. Keep your knees nice and straight and you're going to keep it nice and parallel without moving. You're going to go into demi point. Very good. And then point all the way to your toes, keeping your toes nice and straight. Very good. And then just your toes go up first and then and then all the way up to flex. And then demi point. And then point all the way through your toes. Very nice. Keeping your nice nice and straight. And then demi. And flex. And you want to keep your ankles nice and straight while you do that. Let's try it one more time. And then demi. And then point. Demi. Nice. And flex. You do have pretty flexible ankles. So what you want to do, like what your impulse is to kind of go back and forth, but you want to make sure that you keep your ankles nice and straight and resist the urge to go back and forth laterally. Okay. Okay. And in the same way, we're going to roll your ankle the other direction. So we were going point and then now you're going to bevel your feet out and then you're going to go up to flex and then point in, you're going to sickle, good, and then point straight. Make sure you end up right in the center. Try to keep your toes nice and straight. And then we're going to try one more time. Bevel out, toes first, flex, and then go the other direction. Just trying to move your ankles. Good job. Yeah, keep your knees nice and straight. And one more time. Okay, and then roll up to flex, all the way up and point. Very good. So you want to make sure that you are working your ankles one way and then the other direction too. So we want to do that 10 times each on both sides and then you can just do two sets, okay? Perfect. So the third exercise we're going to do is work on your stabilizing muscles. So we're going up from your ankles to your stabilizing muscles right here on either side of your lower leg. So first we're gonna work on the outside of your leg. So hold on to, to with your right hand on the outside and we're gonna pull it all the way to this side and we're gonna resist, point your toes all the way through. And then what we're going to do is we're gonna sickle in. Good job. And then slowly bring that out. You feel your muscle right here? Okay, so we really wanna concentrate on that muscle right there. Nice and slow and then sickle, and then all the way to straight. Very nice. So I see your muscle working right there, so that's very, very good. And we want to remember all of the exercises that we just did, so keeping your toes nice and straight, everything's gonna be a little bit slower, and then one more time, and point. Very good. So that's gonna work out the outside of your leg, and the inside, you're just gonna do the same exact thing, but you're gonna hold it on the other side, Keep your leg nice and parallel. Very good. Keep your toes nice and straight. Good job. Okay, point your toes. And now you're going to bevel. Good job. The last exercise we're going to be working on is the vertical control. So we're going to keep your ankles nice and stable in order for you to be stable on point. So we're going to start out with the TheraBand tied to a pole like this. So you can use your bed post or whatever you have at home. And then you're gonna wrap your one of your ankles in one of them and so that it's nice and tight to your ankles. And then we're gonna go up in parallel all the way up to releve. So slowly going all the way to full releve and then keeping your neck and just like you're in class and everything nice and tight, roll down for me nice and slow. So the resistance from the TheraBand is going to make you want to move your ankles. But again, you want to keep it nice and straight and you want to keep it nice and stable. So you want to go up very, very slowly and you're going to go up nice and straight all the way up. Very good. Good job, Emily. And then you're going to roll down for me one more time. Good job. And while you're doing this, you want to look up and make sure that you are using just uh, using your abs, you're using your, your glutes, you're using everything to roll up nice and straight. So it's not just an ankle exercise. When you're going up on point, you're gonna use your entire body to do that, okay? And then roll down one more time. Beautiful. 
Good job, Emily. So you're gonna do that on both sides. And again, you wanna do it 12 times each and you wanna do it three sets at a time. So we went over how to do TheraBand exercises from your toes all the way up to releve. And if you do this consistently and if you do it regularly, then you will see a lot of results very quickly. So make sure you do this at home every night. And if you have any questions, please contact us here at The Point Shop and we can help you with any of the exercises that we talked about today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click subscribe to watch videos just like this one. And if you'd like to get a professional point shoe fitting, please visit our website at thepointshop.com to make your appointment today.